Just a brief explanation for my intentions in the near future, guys. Um, I think I'll do a, a video mini series of the sensors. Maybe not all, but some of the key sensors. Maybe some of the key sensors at actuators and uh, outputs, devices, maybe like injectors and ignition coils and the like um, from the SX4. Now, this will be modeled on the SX4. Um, obviously, there's differences between injector types and different types of ignition coils and whatnot, but for the most part, uh, of course, there's exceptions, um, it's pretty much a generic uh, model for us, the SX4. It's not a new car by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not ancient either, right? Um, mine's a 2009. Um, so that's the intention. I will look at sensors. Um, I'm going to scope them. Uh, I've not decided on what tooling I'm actually going to use, whether I'll vary the tooling just to give you a more generic uh, look at things or just focus on one scope. Um, some of you guys know in the past I've on the uh, one of the Pico scopes and uh, first generation Vantage. I don't have those any longer, so those will definitely not be featured. But again, back to the intention, um, we'll just select quasi randomly uh, a sensor to take a look at. Um, I'll likely start with the uh, crank position sensor, which is a induction or variable reluctance sensor in the case of the SX4. I won't do a great deal of talking in the series, guys, for the simple reason I'm gonna lean heavily on the manual. The manual has a lot of great content in it that I want to share with you guys, and uh, hopefully it will be of uh, some service to some of you. Again, as the SX4, I appreciate that most of the world doesn't own an SX4, but again, it makes for a, a good generic model and at least what you can likely expect from perhaps your vehicle. So the format that I'm going to basically follow is how to actually look at the diagram, how to interpret it. Again, in the case of the crank sensor that we're going to start with, we'll look at the sensor itself, the center face wiring, how you actually read the diagram. So you can see here that we have some color coding on the wiring and we have a connector number and pin number. So we'll use the, the uh, manual, we'll correlate the connector detail. So here's the ECM in the case of the SX4. Connector layout tells you a drawing. Right? If we look at the detail, C01. So that's the connector designate and then the pin number. So we'll find the connector for the relative segment of the connector. So C01, and then we can find the pin, the respective pin. And if we keep in mind the color coding that's associated with the wiring for the crank sensor, we can actually narrow it down that much quicker, knowing the numeric layer, the connector, connector number, and the uh, specific color of the wiring we're interested in, that will help a great deal. In addition to that, the manual actually, the Suzuki engineers have done us the favor of giving us a matrix. So here's a, sorry, terminal number. C01, that would be the respective pin and connector that we're interested in. Sorry, it's 51, my bad, my bad. C0151, pink is the respective uh, color coding in the wiring, tells us what it is, tells us what to expect, tells us the conditions to measure it in, and gives us a generic um, detail of uh, what we're actually looking at. And in addition to that, it even goes so far as to show us the scope I mentioned in the previous page there, uh, reference waveform number 17 and 18, and here is the crank sensor. So the manual actually tells us what we can expect, and it even tells us how to set up our scope, right? The time base and the, uh, the voltage or amplitude settings on the, uh, on the scope, and we should get a damn good idea of what we're interested in. So this is what we can expect from the crank sensor. So that's the intention of the series, guys. I'll go through a number of the sensors, and hopefully it will be of some value to some of you guys. That's it. Cheers, boys.